We are very lucky to have a very special guest here on the Davenport this morning. We are joined this morning by Bishop Richard Pates, who is currently serving the Diocese of Des Moines. However, Bishop-elect William Johnson's ordination is Friday. Exactly. So thank you so much for being with us yes. this morning. What an honor. It's a great pleasure. Thank you. Um, tell us a little bit about your time here in Des Moines, how you got to where you, you, you are, and what it's like to now be saying goodbye to this post. Okay, very good. Well, it came 11 and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. Came from the Archdiocese of St. Paul, Minneapolis, uh, and was the auxiliary bishop there for seven and a half years. And then when Bishop Sharon retired, I came down and took his place and have served in that capacity, as I said, for 11 and a half years. It's been a great joy. Des Moines is a wonderful place, and our diocese stretches all the way out to the uh, Nebraska border, so it covers the uh, southwest quadrant of Iowa. Wonderful people, enjoyed it a lot, and, uh, you know, feel uh, grateful that I've had this opportunity. And the incoming bishop is no stranger to Iowa, correct? Correct. Uh -huh. He is from uh, Ames, Iowa. He grew up there, then went on to <clears throat> become a priest in the Archdiocese of Dubuque, and has served the last 21 years wow. in the philosophy department of uh, Loris College. Oh, wonderful. So you have to bone up in your metaphysics. Huh? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> hey. Why is, well, for someone who, at home who might not be Catholic, I don't practice Catholicism, and so tell us a little bit about what you do, what your role is in the church. Okay, thank you, Sabrina. That the bishop is considered a successor of the apostles, that you can trace your lineage mm -hmm. all the way back uh, to the ap apostolic times. And so the bishop is the one, according to the theology, who represents Christ to the people of the diocese. Now we have about 165,000 Catholics in the Diocese of Des Moines, wow. 80 parishes, and uh, 40,000 Hispanics. So what the bishop does is he uh, presides at the liturgies and also uh, in terms of the administration, uh, takes care of the different dimensions of the church itself here. Now, under your leadership, uh, you've, you've kind of guided the church through a lot of news in the last decade. Mm -hmm. What do you think the most important thing is for the incoming Diocese of Des Moines to focus on here? I think the evangelization that is making Jesus Christ known and love, that certainly is the focus of Pope Francis. That's uh, what he's been about. And I think you show that, <clears throat> you know, through reaching out to others in service, in love, uh, you know, uh, especially the, among the poor, what the Pope describes as the peripheries. And so what you want to show, not necessarily only by words, but by action, mm -hmm. you know, your commitment to the poor, your commitment to social justice, and all of those factors which have to do with human dignity. Now, it's a ticket-only event on Friday evening at St. Francis right. um, in mm -hmm. West Des Moines. However, you can watch it online. So give us real quick how we can still watch this wonderful ceremony. Okay, we, I think you tune in to our website mm -hmm. at the Diocese of Des Moines, and it will be uh, broadcast over the... Uh, uh, pro, uh, over the website and uh, live streaming, and so uh, just simply do, the, do that, you okay. know, and you accomplish it. Yeah. Yes, wonderful, yeah. and there's information on tickets and everything. Exactly. Well. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you so much. What an honor and yes. pleasure to have okay. you here. Okay, nice you. to be with both of you. Yes, thank, thank you, you Bishop okay. Cates, for everything, and good luck as you, uh, thank you. enjoy retirement. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank